Hi, my name is Tyra Smith, and my presentation is going to be on the National Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art in Gwashiansi, South Korea. To give you guys some background information about this museum, it opened its doors in 1969, showcasing the history of Korean art. It also runs several educational programs, which allows you to discover contemporary art and the value of art in everyday life. The museum contains four branches, Washian, Dioxigang, Seoul, and Chonju. The first branch of the museum that we will look at is titled Washian. This is devoted to various genres of visual arts such as architecture, design, and crafts. The photograph on the left is titled Tresses and is of a Korean woman with a long braid. The photograph on the right is called Briere, an old woman, digging into the reality of the times and the identity of Koreans with a documentary type of technique. Both of these wonderful photographs are printed in a gelatin silver print. This painting is titled Spring in Yangnam, which showcases a spring landscape in Korea. As you can see, there is a yard full of blossoms, and the sky is a blue moon that gradually becomes a full black moon. This represents the artist's attitude and his state of mind towards the situation that he was in at the time of this painting. He had recently moved back to Korea and did not have a house at that time. The second branch of the museum is titled Dioxigang, which showcases modern art from Korea and overseas. This serves as Korea's first modern art museum. It opened as the Royal Family Museum during the Japanese occupation back in 1938. This painting is titled Sunny Place. The artist here has regarded Impressionism as the most appropriate style and technique to express Korean light landscapes. The house in this painting is the house that he actually lived in, and the girl in the red dress happens to be his second daughter. And as you can see, their dog is out there laying in the sun. This next painting is titled The Spring Season. The artist here uses local colors and themes to depict the customs and lives of people. The background is what I believe is pronounced Hanuk, which is a traditional Korean house. Women are preparing the meal by slicing and peeling vegetables. He uses various colors to highlight their beauty and the traditional Korean clothing which they are wearing. The third branch of the museum is Seoul, which focuses on introducing global contemporary art. This beautiful piece of artwork, I believe, is titled Civitas Solis, which is the second version. This is made in 2014 and a part of the 2014 Hyundai series in Korea. The title of this artwork is spelled out in English and in Korean by the light bulbs that are planted on the mirrored floor. These next two pieces of artwork are titled Garden Blue. There is no real description that I could provide, but I did think that these two were very interesting to look at. Since this is more of like a modern type of museum, I feel like this fit very well. It kind of reminded me of spray painting that you see on the sides of buildings or on trains. The final branch of this museum that we are going to look at is titled Chonju, which fulfills the museum's primary duty to collect, preserve, study, exhibit, and to educate. This piece of artwork is titled Translated Vase. When this artist was creating pottery, he would discard the ones with the slightest bit of flaw in them. Then he decided to take the broken ceramic pieces and put them together. So each piece finds another piece and they rely on one another. The artist states that the cracks between them symbolizes wounds. The final piece of artwork I wanted to share with you guys is titled Flower Tree. The application of bright colors in the materials in the flower tree manifests a playful comment on the influence of popular culture and urban lifestyle. Public sculptures with a flower theme are often used to decorate the rapidly urbanized cities in Asia, which are constructed with concrete and steel materials. So let's look at why did I choose this event. I chose this event because it seemed really interesting and I wanted to see how artists in Korea interpret modern and contemporary art. So how different is this from what I usually do 
or how far out of my comfort zone is it? So I don't typically go to museums that often and this one was virtually so that was a little different for me. Also, since this museum takes place in Korea and showcases Korean art, it was outside of my comfort zone in terms of culture. So let's look at how did I participate. I was able to participate with this event through a virtual walkthrough feature with Google's Arts and Culture feature. This amazing feature allowed me to tour all four branches of the museum from my home. Let's take a look at what I learned from doing this event. From this event, I learned a little bit about Korean culture and how Korean artists like to depict their own culture and thoughts into their artwork. I did notice a lot of bright colors were used to express Korean culture in a lot of these art pieces. I believe this showcases their different customs and the different lives of people. Also, a lot of the artists did really like to express their own thoughts and feelings into their paintings.